know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. Yeah. When you sick, you need medicine. It don't always taste good. Oh, nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control, but only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I'll save anybody. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to have a threesome. What do you mean by that? Look, you don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you. you. Man school, 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I am excited because this is a special show. Now, I know I've said that at least 500 times before, but this time I mean it. Um, Harry, what's going on? You ready to rock and roll? Absolutely, I'm ready to rock and roll. I'm ready. To, I'm, I, I'm in the garage. Good to go. It's good. That's, it's where, good. I'm, that's where I'm centered now. In the garage. Well, don't worry. We're going to be back in the yeah, studio. Yeah, I'm back in the studio. This will be one of the so, last uh, Zoom ones. Yeah, we can't wait to do that. It's a whole different chemistry. Um, we got a special guest today. You want to do the honors here? Uh, uh, yeah, that's right. I mean, we got somebody. We always like having fascinating people on the show and people who have more than one gig, so to speak, and more than one lifestyle. And uh, this woman is doing everything from fitness. She's done uh, adult film. She's got a, an incredible backstory, and we want to get into all of it. Uh, the fabulous Sabrina Sedotti, everybody. Woo. Give it up. What's up, hey. Sabrina? How are you? How are you? Great. Thank you. You? Thanks. For, um, it's great to be here. It's good to have you on. Thank I'm, you. I'm, thank you. I'm interested in digging in. Sedotti, okay. what's, your na- what's your nationality? I'm S- Sicilian and Italian with a little tad bit of German. Okay. Okay. Huh. A nice. little mix, you know, little, spicy mix. Little mix, little mix. I mean, and, and then again, <laughs> aren't we all? I mean, aren't we yeah. all a little mixed anyway? But um, <laughs> thanks for doing the show. I really appreciate you. You know, Lainey Thank is, you too. Lainey is my heart. She's She is the bestest. Great, of great the best. to work with. Yes. Personality is slamming. Yeah, she's a sweetheart. She's a sweetheart. Tell us about yourself a little bit. Okay, so I am, let me see. I live in South Florida. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I was born and raised here. Mm-hmm. And um, let me see, what else should I say? Um, born and raised here. Um, I went to school here. Um, I grew up with uh, bo- bo- both of my parents. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, my parents from New, from New York. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, my dad was um, aff- affiliated with, 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 with the real mob. You know, the real mob. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, I like before, the delineation. Yeah, the real before. mob. <laughs> Before the technician, before the technical aspect, put it all to bed. I always say the thing that put it's so the, different, you know. Well, you know the thing was that you can't. It's almost you can't communicate now without right. You know, right. Yeah, <laughs> you had a friend of mine, a close friend of mine, and he used to. They used they learn they actually learned sign language, and they used to. That's smart. Yeah, that's very smart. You have to watch everything that you say now. What, 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 whatever you carry, whatever you do, it's just like, you know, it's just every single thing is like a crime. Yeah. And, and then, you know, you got dumbass Giuliani with the Rico law. I remember that whole thing. That yeah. law is a horrible, sorry, is yeah, a yeah. horrible law because that blankets and gives you so much time. It's like, 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 like the conspiracy law. Yeah. Yeah, well, it yeah. literally is just something where it was a, it it was well, they actually they actually overturned all of his all of his indictments, all the stuff that he did out at the South Street Seaport because all the stuff that he was doing was so unconstitutional, um, and all those things that got him to be the mayor in the first place, which was his supposedly cleaning up South Street Seaport, was just him doing he, passing a law that was unconstitutional and illegally locking up people who he had no right to. Like plus it's the fact that he 
He, yeah. yeah. And he also he also ended up locking up a bunch of people who had nothing to do with it. It was a way to squeeze them into, you know, saying things that they wouldn't have said or things, say, even Correct. things that they didn't even know for sure. Everybody was trying to save their people butt. just sometimes talk to say save their ass, whether it's true or not, because yeah. they're scared. They're yeah. intimidated. Yeah. Yeah. Me, what was that like? I just ran. I just ran. <laughs> really? Did you leave cooperate. because of that? Or did you leave? Where were you exactly when all okay, that so, stuff? Well, I got in trouble. Uh, no, no. I got in trouble uh, and, and incarcerated uh, fe fe federal charges in 2007. Uh -huh. these, these were for drugs. Okay. And um, and it was con conspiring, which uh -huh. gave me more time than ever even having the the, the, the drugs. drugs on right. me, you know. Um, and um, I did 121 months. I didn't cooperate. I got a, a obstruction of justice because I actually warned the dealers, and I got busted warning them to watch out because right. I didn't qu qu question. So I got right. obstruction of justice, which gave me about three wow. more years. Wow. 121 I, I, months. I my math yeah. is shoddy. How many years? I know. It's like ten, ten years. years. It's ten years. Ten I did the years. Same thing. Yeah. 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 That's the old school. Uh, that's the old school. Shut your mouth. Do the time and shut your mouth. Now, did people take I, care of you when you because you shut your mouth? Did you have people that nope. looked at? No. My mom did. My mom did it, and that's it. Which that's great. That's uh. wonderful. But the guys, they said, thank you in the toilet bowl, because that's how we would com com communicate. Mm. Like pe 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 People don't know that. So we women and men can't talk, e even if you're in, in the same facility or whatever. Right. But there's a way way to com 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 communicate through the air vents and through through the toilet bowls. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow. Right. So yeah. I know. It's so weird. Bowl. So the one guy's like, oh, I heard. Thank you so much. Like you're welcome. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but you know what? After, after I got out, I didn't want to um com com communicate or associate with anybody that I basically was in trouble with. <laughs> yeah, right, 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 right. I was done. Done. <laughs> now, was that that whole di the idea of uh, doing your time and keeping your mouth shut? Was that kind of instilled in you from the very beginning? Was that just because you know you don't get that? I mean, people snitch. You know, people get locked up and then they're out. And people now are snitching all yeah. the time, and yeah. that's like a normal thing. Like you know, yeah. stay, 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 stay save your ass type thing. Yeah. But back then, I mean, okay, time, time has passed now. We're, we're in tw 2021. Right. Okay. Two. Okay. So I, I was da da daddy's girl being daddy's girl means that you grow up close to your dad and you pay attention, listen, learn. And that's how I was raised. Right. I was raised watching him. Okay? Right, 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 right. Absolutely. <laughs> People don't get it. Like, no, my mom, she's a great mom, still still a great mom, but she wasn't like, okay, Sabrina, this is what you're supposed to do. And da, da, da. it was none of that. Right, it was just right. watch my dad, uh, be, 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 be a bad kid, <laughs> you know, and just right. learn, right, Le right. like lear lear learn rough. Yeah. So did well, you get to it, experience any aspect of like a regular childhood whatsoever? Like you still went to prom. What and is stuff? a regular childhood? I don't like, know. What is exactly? Not, I guess. Like, yeah. Fair enough. But I, I guess. mean, um, okay. So I guess uh, way back when, because I'm four, four, forty six now. Mm. Uh, way back when, growing up, it was kind of like um, just go to school, come home from school. Mom's home. She cooks food. She's a housewife. My 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 dad would be out all day long. Work, work, work in the bookie, not like the bookie stuff, you know, having yeah. uh, the whatever the, the hustle, restaurant, the hustle, right? Whatever uh, he's yeah, doing, yeah, he's yeah. doing it. He comes home at eight, dinner, fed, <laughs> you know, and, and then chill, chill out. So it was like very cut, cut and dried. Uh -huh. So I wasn't raised like, um, I wasn't raised like, let's go to the park or let's go do this, let's go do that. No, 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 it wasn't like that, but we, but. But we lived well. I mean, we lived good, you know, mm. but it was more, more like different. It was different. Yeah. Did you get to go to the prom and, or date at all? Like, I mean, okay, I, so I must dating's have not really. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. No phone calls from boys. No phone. Because remember, we had the phones then that were, were, were on the wall, on the wall. Yeah, right. Like the right. regular, the, the old face yeah, yeah, phone. Yeah. You get a phone call. Hello. It's a boy. Click. <laughs> yeah, right. So, no, 
of course, my dad or mom didn't want us to date at like a younger age. You know what I mean? But we're we're cu- cu- curious. We're curious. We're kids. The ho- yeah. ho- ho- hormones and all. And so basically, it's like kind of like um, I would want to experiment and run around and be be like um, I guess and. and exploratory type team. Right. Uh, uh, well, like what you're saying it is, right, you know? you're, no, I mean, you're, you're literally talking about any teen. I mean, any teen sexually curious, is, is yeah. curious. And so, I mean, you don't have to word it anyway. It is what it is. I mean, <laughs> you know, you're, 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 if you're, you're a little dude, you're trying to finger pop people and trying to get a little First stick, you know, base I mean, and second base. Yeah, you know, you're trying like, to, so it's not, I mean, you know, it's an interest, you know, it's it's just, it, I guess that is normal. I mean, that's normal to, to want to explore your sexuality, um, but we not have having the computers the, or nothing. We had no right. computer, like, you know, no, right. none right. of this stuff, you know, so. Right. Not that that would not that that stops it from any way. But what's interesting, right. too, is when you said, you know, I mean, you, you know, I mean, I, I'm I'm in my 50s. And so I understand there was no, you know, there was if, if your kids didn't die then you were a good parent. You know, if you right. didn't, they didn't get killed, then they, you were a good parent. So, um, but also there, there's this whole situation when I, when I tell young parents and just parents in general is that as much as people say, well, you know, like you're talking about, well, don't do this and don't do that. You know, kids don't give a fuck about any of that. What they care about no. is what they see. It's we what they it. see you do. They it's, right. it's it's what they see you do. And so, so I'm curious, knowing that you you know saying that your mother was a housewife, are uh, when you're so in a I'm relationship, too. Are you right? Still, it's a great yeah. question. No, I already knew. So yeah. I'm partial of like a housewife type, then yeah. partial of a gangster type. Right. right. So you on any good both. on any good given day. <laughs> right. 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 So I'll cook, I'll cook food, I'll clean, but then I'll like, you know, I'll be raw, 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 raw and on cut. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, you know, it's, it's sort of those things. It's, it's that you learn that, you know, when you, when you, when you think about it, and I say this all the time, when your kids are growing up, you, you, the, the epitome of what you, what you see womanhood as is yeah. your mother. And the epitome of what you see manhood as is your father, no matter what you think is going on and all, you know, people go to therapy. It's it's what you say. So a lot of times you see people and they're in relationships that are very volatile or maybe even abusive and stuff. And they stay together for the kids. And I say all the time, what you're doing is is you're teaching your kids this behavior. If they're watching this kind of abuse or whatever, or even if you're watching you know, like I, I was a lot of times I'll, I'll counsel guys and they'll be real soft and the woman will be treating them like a punk or how they how they their nuts in the ring. I can't do that. I, yeah. I can't do that. No, sorry. Well, you can't, I, well, yeah. you can, I, can, I feel I can't, that already. I can't handle right? that. Yeah. 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 You, you, you look like you'd eat somebody alive if he was. A yeah. Punk. But oh, see, I would need to be to to be with a man that's very like strong and course, intelligent can and I can run, 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 run the household. You know, yeah, you can see, you can see. I mean, that, that, that handle me too. Yeah, absolutely. That that kind is coming through your pores. You can see yeah. that. I can see that. <laughs> By the way, so there's a there's a a level of strength is because you because you perceive a man to be a man in 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 a very traditional way. Um, and if you have a man who's in that traditional way, then you it allows you to be who your mother was, which is yeah. This this housewife. And so it's very it's very and it's interesting because I always say this to people and, they, you know, you see people who will always say, well, I want to stay together for the kids. And I'm going, if you're going to stay together for the kids, the relationship that you have ha- has to be it has to be healthy. Uh, because yeah. whatever it is, they're just going to repeat it. They're going to pick up on it. Yeah. Yeah. And it doesn't yeah. matter what you're saying. You you can say all the horse shit you want to say. Um you can say all the horse shit you're going to say, but they're watching what you do. So if you're a guy and you're a pussy, you're acting like a pussy. Your son is going to be a pussy. Not only is he going to be a pussy, but he's going to get a woman who is your wife, who is screaming and yelling and disrespectful to him. And you're going to they're going to compete. They're going to complete this cycle and repeat it over and over again. And so the importance of you having your own shit together Um I'm interested in something that you said, because 
you know, when you have these kind of strong, it just even in the culture of Italian, there's this, this is the housewife. You know, I've had a lot of Italian guys that go, would go, oh, I would never fuck my wife in the ass. You know what I mean? Like, that's my, that's the mother of my kids. So, you know, that if they want to, uh, trust yeah. me. <laughs> How often does that get said, Dante? I've never heard that one. Dude, I've heard that. that. I, uh, you I'm never not saying that. you're lying. I'm not saying you're lying. I'm just saying it's funny. I don't think I've ever heard it. Sabrina, like, do hey, you understand oh, what I'm saying? Like, don't fuck it's so much. That's, that's the mother of my kids you know there's certain things that they wouldn't do because that's the mother of their kids and their minds a a specific way yeah towards it but really the mother of your kids or who you're with should should be the person that you're able to to explore and right. and there's a lot a lot a lot of things that men want that they don't even say right. keeping it real yeah right 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 right, right. but it's also <laughs> it's also a situation where it, it there's this very distinct situation. So, I mean, I know in your history, you uh, you you've done you were an adult film star. How did your dad was your dad? That's a whole or, different twist. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. How did yeah. your dad take that? Uh, well, okay. So my dad was the type of dad. His personality, as as long as I'm staying out of trouble, go go. You know, okay. And as long as I'm ha I'm ha ha happy, healthy, out at out of trouble and doing well. So I would never throw it in his face about mm. the film work. He just thought playboy this and, you know, adult, like, like, like nudie, se se sexy girl sexy type stuff. stuff. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was like, go mean, go mean. Yeah. Right. You know, right. he, he, he was proud. But right. then, so you have to know that my dad le le left the country and he was on the run okay. for par partial of my teens. So he was far, far away. You know right. what I mean, and then he 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 really couldn't control or oversee or anything. Now, so was he, he aware classic. of it? Was it that you did you did you did full hardcore porn at some point in time? Yes. Yeah. So I started with doing the girl girl. I right. started with with doing soft, and then I how old were you when you girl. started this? Just so we have the about twenty four. Okay, twenty four okay. years old. Right. Yeah, and, and I started with Jill Kelly, Je Je Jenna Jameson, all right. the girls. You know, right, we right. were all like the girls, and. Right. Um, I did it way back when and um, built, built, built a little name, right. you know, and then um, I was in, in a relationship right. and he, and the gentleman I was in a relationship with was twice my age. And he actually liked the idea of his woman doing girl, girl stuff like that. Uh -huh. That was to him like a trophy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Right. So because he liked um, my, 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 my ex enjoyed and I enjoyed having a lifestyle that was casual and open and having a nice time. Right. Was Ever? that, was that just girl, girl, or was it, how did he feel about it when it, when it, uh, it escalated to other? After we broke up, I did the girl boy. Okay. okay. Ah, yeah. Cause I really didn't want to dis, di disrespect him or cross the ba boundaries that he felt. Even though we we would play and do things in our personal lives, on film was a no no. Just 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 a girl girl. But you you've played in personal life with other men as well. Okay, so now the kicker is this: when I'm in a casual open thing going on, I don't prefer to be with uh, di different men. I I prefer to be with my man, right. and I prefer uh, other girls to join. Okay, right. So and it's like, normally he'll, like, he'll it's like what too. you call oh. soft. It's soft swinging. It's like right, soft swinging. Right, yeah. right. Very, I, I like that. Yeah. Yeah. Um. But it, in in a in a situation where that is now, is that that's your preference that you just don't want to be? You don't want. Are you into men or are you into yeah, men? It's a, it's, it's a very good men? question. Yeah, yeah. So so I'm into men. Oh, I'm into men. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but but because of everything I've been through in life and my adult uh, entertainment and everything, when I'm with a man, it's just about him. You know, right. I, it's just kind of, it, 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 it's actually a dynamic. It's so weird to, 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 to explain because you would think that I would be like, Oh, I get my choice of men. I get to do this and that. No, no. I'm just like, you know what? I'll find that one good, good man. And my turn ons are actually just to be with that man and to have fun with him doing the other stuff, the girl stuff. 
That's now, just me, too. Are you all also into women? Or are yeah. you into are okay. you into I mean and I don't mean into women like okay, you dabble, but are you have you ever had a relationship with a woman? I really have. So I I've had I've had a relationship with a woman when I was incarcerated. Does that count? Probably yes, not. it kind of eh, yes. probably not. <laughs> probably not. Well, she looked she she looked like a boy. Right. And okay. <laughs> And um, she was really nice. She she's very nice. We, we we were together for for about three years. And yes, yes, I do understand that when you're incarcerated, you're looking for you know a friendship and bo- 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 bonding and attention and blah blah blah. Um, would I have a, a a relationship with a woman out in society? Now that's a good a good question. Right, right. That's now, what I was going to ask you. It would have to be if. If I was to ever say yes, it would have to be a dominant woman, very dominant and like kind of like the structure of a man, like kind of like that. So you, in other words, you're not, in, you're not in the women. In other words, no, it's almost no. like it's almost like saying, <laughs> you know, it, it's it's uh you know, like, I, you know, how you, certain guys will get what, you know, like you have guys who will have, what, you, know, you know, the, you know, the edge, the, what they call the Asian fever, right? You know, when they, when they talk about, they, you know, guys are like Asians, Asians, Asians. And I'm always like, yeah, I'll get an Asian girl if she's got a fat oh, ass yeah. and big titties. And then they're going, well, you don't really want an Asian girl. Do you know what I mean? Right. And so, so it's like, right. it's almost like you got it. You're, you're picking this thing to kind of, I know you're 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 molding it and picking it right. So, yeah. So my so my preference is men. Yes. Is men. Right, but you right. still you do enjoy the sex with women. Oh yeah. 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 Okay. But with, but with a man too. No. Yeah. She's like she's like yeah. I'm, right, not, hang, I'm, hang so, I'm 46 minute. years old. I'm like I've been. I, I mean I kind of feel like I just don't have that drive to run around like you know hey it's just so different now you know it's different and um I'm so so. so Focus on my careers and ma- in magazine way, covers. How and, do you feel it different? I, how do you perceive it as different? Well, I'm going to say, so I just went and had my blood work done mm-hmm. for my, for my, um, for my, my, my hormones and my levels and everything. Mm-hmm. And so I'm finding that I, I believe my testosterone wasn't low or was low enough that I can have a little bit of help, a little bit of your, help, your you know, test, and then by the, yeah, not, woman. Mm, so women with the estrogen and the test. And after I received my, my, my blood work, there was room to play around. And I noticed that my sex drive was like get, getting a little lower. So I knew something was wrong. I'm a hornball. I'm a right. Scorpio. Right. I'm an adult film star. So I'm like, right. wait a minute. Something don't feel right. Right. You know, you know, um, how, 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 how can I say? I mean, I don't feel like I'm, tw- I'm tw- tw- 25. You know, I feel like, you know, maybe I need I need some help, you know? Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, we, we you, I, I think a lot of times we don't perceive uh, that we, you know, it's only until you get older that you start to realize the, the, the balance of chemicals and how that stuff is. But I, yeah. I, I guess when I, I guess what I was saying, you, you said to me, it's so different now. I, I thought you were referring to generationally in terms of oh. how people or, or but you just meant you meant different but now because too. of the age. Yeah. But but that too, it's different. Everything is different now. Like I'm not gonna go out to a club and find fi- find a man ver- versus in in my twenties, I might be more open and available to go and meet a man and have a drink and this and that. Now I'm like, no, 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 no. Cause I don't even want to meet men at Whole Foods. It's like, I'm so like, um, how can I say I'm guarded? I'm guarded. Why? Why so guarded? Well, I'm guarding me because of, um, well, because of things that I've been through in, in my past re, 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 relationships, which have been, uh, how can I say, uh, b- 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 physical abuse. Um, so you say you're talking about what you're talking about is trauma. Just basic trauma that you've gone through, some trauma, emotional yeah, some and trauma. physical abuse right. at, that you that you've gone through, that you're yeah. learning, that you've learned how to. How long ago was the physical abuse, or was it just sporadically throughout the course of your life? It, it was during my relationship when I was engaged for four and a half years, and I was in my late twenties. Oh, this was the older guy, or, or this or, was my fiance. Yes, okay. the, the older guy. This was like my only real. Uh, a, a cut and dried re- relationship. Okay. Then I got locked up. 
Okay. How old, for, for how old was this guy? Uh, uh, fi- at that time, he was fi- fi- 55. Okay. I was b- between like 20, uh, 25, 26, 27, you know, like 24 and 29 or whatever. So let me ask you this. The, the, when you talk about that abuse and you're, ta- you're talking about this is an older man who, for some it, reason, it took years to, 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 took years to get over, to like, okay. talk uh, about it and stuff. How long, how long into the relationship did the, did the abuse start? Okay, so we were having a relationship for at least three years. And I noticed that, you know, that, you know, he, he was drinking a little more. We were having a good time and this and that. He, he was having a uh, mid, midlife crisis and he, and he really was. And um, he was actually run, run, running a fairly big com- com- company, had a lot of worth, you know, wealth. And um, I guess his way of handling things was, um, how, how can I say, taking out things on me when he was not completely sa- satisfied or or content with my reaction to certain things that he was doing, such as cheating. Bingo. <laughs> okay, so he was cheating, and your reaction to it was you were angry because he was cheating. While we were then- having an open relationship together, he would do his own things and be cheating and be sneaky when we do everything together. It was not it, uh, an so open he was relationship. Che- he was che- right. it, so it was, you had specific parameters to this relationship. Of course. And, then, and yeah. then he went and he went out of whatever the parameters of the completely, relationship was. Completely. And now you're 24 <laughs> years old. You're 24 years old. 24, 25, century. 26, all that. Yeah. And so the fact that he went out of the out of the context of this the the parameters of this relationship is what he made what what made him angry or was it honestly a way of him to maintain control so no so basically when i knew he was stepping out of the relationship i knew i could not control him so i basically told him please wear protection if you're going to hire girls or be with women with you know and choose that be protected. Don't bring me home. Nothing. Okay. So then I would know because I would check the Trojan box. I would check the Trojan box and I would see that he'd use them. Okay. I'm fine. Quiet. I zip it up because I, I, I told him if you want use protection. Okay. Well, then it was on my birthday week. He actually invited girls um, on my birthday week. The day before I was going to arrive, he invited girls that I knew to join him and his friends and have a good time. So when I arrived the next day, it was kind of like a whole slap and a punch to the face. I'm just saying, when he felt like he had to tell me that he had people I knew join him and his friends, and he didn't want his friends to just blurt out and say stuff while we're having my birthday dinner. Right. So that's, so that's what I was saying. That's the, uh, well, so initially what I was saying is, so, so you find that this, you find this kind of physical abuse often happens um, because of personal insecurity. So because somebody feels as though they don't have control, the way that they institute control is with this kind of physical abuse, so right. on and so forth. And then, and then ultimately, and, and let's be honest, you're at 24 years old. And when you harmless, I was harmless. Yeah. I never hit him. Nothing. Never yell, yell, yelled at his face. Nothing. All I did was cry. And, hmm. Yeah. And that's hard because you're Italian. It's in you. You want to. Yeah, but I, I never <laughs> want to hit a guy. My dad taught me yeah. a man is much stronger. Don't ever hit a man. Oh, yeah. smart. Wow. He, no, he told me that. Yeah, yeah. There's cert, there, are cert, there are certain rules. Don't raise your hands to a man because when a man raises his hands back, if he does, you're done. Okay. Now, here's the thing, but, the, but you still had a situation where even though you, you weren't raising a hand to him, he was re- raise, raising a hand to you. He was still, you know, he, beating he was on choking you. me, stra- strangling me, ki- kicking, strangling and everything. Yeah, it was really yeah. bad, bru- bruises and stuff. But, and that took years to basically speak, speak about. I mean, it, 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 it took a while because I, I loved him. You know, I could not believe, like, I, when that all just took place, I was, like, so shocked. I mean, I, I could not believe... Someone that I loved, adored, growing with, I mean, just everything, you know, just uh, would actually look in my eyes and strangle me. And I had to peel his hands off, you know. No, it was crazy. It was crazy. I see it still. Right. 
Yeah, I could yeah. see that you even in your <laughs> in your face, you there's still that pain there. Is it red? And, <laughs> no, but you can see you can see the uh, you know your apprehension that you're talking about it because I mean you you've clearly talked about it and did some work on yourself to to get through that. Yeah, it took many years, and I finally all I did would 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 do is cry about it and cry about it. But then after just one day, after like four years. Uh, I, I was able to share it and everything and, and then talk, talk about it. And I feel like it's a good topic, you know, because women keep things very quiet at times, you know, and there, and, and no one, no one should, should be ra raising hands. Let me ask you this. Do you, do you feel as though, um, do you feel as though you deserved it? I mean, at, at, at some point in time, well, let me finish what I'm saying it, at 24 years old, is is so the 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 abuse starts to happen you right. end up with this abuse in a situation where it becomes I, i'm assuming fairly fairly frequent so one of the things that it i happened say, about three times okay three times in the relationship um after he did the strength the strangling i was leaving him and he wanted to go to counseling i gave him this thirty thousand dollar ring back i think take it and that was a promise ring and basically um he wanted to go to counseling and and try to make it work and he's sorry and this and that so here i am this young girl and i was like you know what okay let me try to make this work that seems like a uh, one good step let's yeah. just see you know now i'd be like no hell no okay uh, now i'd probably do a lot lot lot, lot of things di 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 differently you know what i mean i probably plan out and get ma married immediately with no prenum and ah, get up. No, okay. oh, now let me so but, uh, I guess what I'm thinking so my experience is this and I've done counseling and so on and so forth and so when we talk about the physical you know you talk about that kind of physical abuse never have I ever 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 experienced a situation where things got physical and it wasn't emotionally abusive in the first place. And so what happens is the, 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 the physical is just an escalation of the emotional abuse and the insecurity in itself. The, the, like, so he has these insecurities. So he's 55 years old. He's dealing with this 24 year old smoking hot yeah. girl <laughs> in his mind. He's like, Oh, I got the shit. We bring girls home. They fuck me. She's Live, living the life. You know, yeah, you're yeah. living the life. But, but what happens is, and I, and I've said this to guys over and over again, a lot of times you'll be living this life and deep down because of your own, lack of self-esteem you don't think you deserve what you what you have so it's almost it almost feels like you're sh what i call shoplifting the pussy like yeah. you're you're, okay. you're shoplifting so you're always worried about getting caught you're always worried about what day is she gonna wake up and say that i'm not worthy of this woman Damn. who who, right? Do you see what I'm saying? It's like, yeah, yeah, so, it's a, a different way, way, way of thinking too. It's, yeah, I mean, well, it's so, it's such an abuse. So you, you get a situation where you, you're in this situation. So if he, if he ran a business and there was a certain level of, uh, you know, there's a certain level of prestige of that. But guys get just because, just because you, you have money doesn't make you interesting. Um, right. Just because, <laughs> just because you got a big dick doesn't mean you can fuck good. Just because, nope. just because of any of those things doesn't ne necessarily elicit love. So what I think is interesting is you find people who who have defined themselves in a certain way unbeknownst to you especially unbeknownst to you at 24 years old you're basically still a kid do you know what right. i mean and, and this is your first with a father place. who's out of the country so i'm right. looking up to my man right. as like a a, a figure like a father figure, a father and figure. someone yeah, to look absolutely. up to yeah. Right. And he's he's ultimately in this situation trying to find this personal way of validation through business and through money and through this. Not only that, but you almost become a, a validation of his his worthiness. It's like, look at me. I'm 55 years old. I'm successful. I have Absolutely. this trophy woman. Not only do I have this trophy woman, but I have this trophy woman and she brings other girls and we got friends and I got we, money and I, 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 I get swing blah, blah, We're doing yeah. this. And that. But deep down, what happens is underneath all of that, you don't think you're shit. You really think you ain't shit. You got all this <laughs> money. You got all this. But deep down, you know, you ain't shit. And and who knows you better than you?
And so now you're in this situation where you have these things, but you don't think that you're worthy of it. And so subconsciously you start to sabotage it. You do things to sabotage it because you don't think you're worthy. And then you as a 24 year old is in this situation where you are so naivete and young and, you know, and you're missing your dad and there's all of this stuff that's going on and you're unaware of this. And now this abuse happens um, to a certain extent at that age. Don't you take on that abuse as if you start to feel like that's what you're worthy of? You know what I'm saying? You're, you're, the silence that you keep so there, there had to be emotional abuse first, that which emotional abuse. Uh, yeah, so uh, there was emotional abuse because I remember now thinking back, there were times where I did not want to include another woman. I did not want right. to do certain things. And you things. did it for I, him. Well, no, I remember him saying specifically, he would be very upset about it. And, and like he'd find ways to ma ma manipulate me or, or, or try to be like, listen, I don't love you. Like, 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 like there's certain um, things that he would do and say to make and me feel. And then you'd have to and, try to prove your love to him. Via I don't the, know. I would just yeah. feel like shit. You know, I'd be crying. You know, I'd be like, oh my God. Oh God, he doesn't love me anymore. Like, I just, it's yeah. just all that game back and forth. You and know? that's the abusive stuff we're talking about, Dante, where you go that, that the uh, physical abuse is always yeah. includes also emotional abuse too. Yeah, it's never one thing or the yeah. other. So I, I was, that's why I kind of, why I was digging to that, to the yeah, point where you Yeah, that's why I was trying to think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, and so there's, there's no way, you know, it, it's one thing if you don't remember it, but at my experience goes, it it's always, there's never not the physical, nobody, nobody chokes you first out the gate. There's always the, <laughs> there's the emotional <laughs> right, right. abuse. I right. used to say this about OJ Simpson. First, you yell at her. Then you call her a bitch. Then you choke right. her. There's then you stages. punch her. Then you yeah. kick her. Then you hit her with a chair. Then you cut her head off. But nobody goes right to cutting her head off. It's just not right. what we, what you're, you're right. doing. So, so, but then this, this, and ultimately, you know, there's this thing I was, you know, people say hurt, hurt people, hurt people, you know? Um, yeah. And and so and then at 24 years old, you carry this this trauma at somebody who really doesn't have the maturity that you have now. Good. I, I, you, you so, by, say so, so by this time, I was like about 28 as the time okay. goes by. So I you know started the film work around 20 uh, well about 23 or 24 doing softcore. Mm. Then I met him around 24 or 25. And then we started. And then I was doing the soft, the soft flow with, with Joe, Jill Kelly and Jenna. And then in the relationship, more as we were getting in depth, and it, it was just more of like a routine. I felt like we need to work on us as well. It can't always be on, on the weekend. We're doing this or we're doing that. Da, da, da. We need to do things, us, our relationship. And right. I think that's when after like years that went by, he, he, cause I was growing, they're called growth. And, and when I would actually su 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 suggest it's about our relationship, I think that confused him because he's used to being the one thing, make, make the call or let's have a girl or let's, or, or let's do this. Da, da, da. The more I was growing and, 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 and maturing, I think that's when he was getting confused. Like, wait, wait a minute. I'm not going to be able to control her if she keeps well, I don't, wanting. I don't think it's. I don't think it's so much. So, so here's what here's what I find also that happened, and you tell me if I'm if I hit the nail okay. on the head. That ultimately, when you're under that kind of abuse, you don't mature. There's this. There's this need to to see things differently to grow and to to kind of understand you know real intimacy and real real kind of personal growth um but you don't grow so it's, it's the same thing like i like i know this about dudes that i knew that got locked up like they so getting locked up is a whole other yeah. is a whole set of rules and so yeah. you know it's like that that old movie where the guy comes out he's a pimp he gets locked and when he gets locked when he gets out he's wearing the same outfit you know he's wearing the platform shoes with the goldfish in the platform shoes and he's coming out with this purple hat coming out when the reality is that there's been no growth dudes that i know that went and did 
you know, got sent up north and they got out. When they got out, they were talking that same shit that they right. were talking when they went in. So, I, like, I was... I, uh, I, I totally ahead. agree, though. I yeah. totally agree. I don't know why. Okay, so I feel like when I was in, in the relationship still, I grew because I did not take his shit. Meaning as soon as he put his hands on my throat and kicked me this and that, I was ready to leave him. Now he wanted to go to counseling and that's fine. But guess what? I decided not to stay in the relationship and I left Yeah, But him. You, you also have to understand, that's you have to understand the, 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 the physical abuse yeah. is the epitome of the abuse. It's the, it's the peak. So what you have to also kind of, kind of own is that, you dealt with the abuse from the first moment that it was abusive and you put, so there's no, there's no, so it's more like it's the, the, the straw that broke the camel's back as mm -hmm. opposed to when he put my ha his hands on me, I said, I'm done because that's, that's not really true. The problem is that the, that the, the, the abuse had been going on from the probably I, types of abuse right yeah, right right I, I would imagine that the abuse was 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 going on from the inception of the relationship because if somebody who's abused so it's like it's it's sort of like when you you get a you find a guy that's a pedophile right he is a so how do we know he's a pedophile because there's always other incidents of pedophilia there's never it's like Lay's potato chip you just stop fucking one kid you, right. you, gotta, you you need a whole bag. <laughs> you want a whole bag full, right? You can't You're stop right, it. Though. You're right, so, right. so the abuse that like, somebody gets like to the point. Like an addiction. Right. It's an addiction. It, 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 is, it, is, it speaks a to mental, the mental, like a whole, yeah. It also speaks to the constitution of the human being that you're dealing with. And so what I'm saying, as much as I'm saying you got to the point where you like, I'm out of here, you, you, I think what you got to do, too, in order to kind of free yourself is to understand that this abuse was going on from the inception of the relationship. When you were 24, first of all, it's a 55 year old guy. Right. Uh, so you're saying the whole basic guy. The whole basic guy. <laughs> and I'm not saying because I'm 55 and I'm not yeah. saying that that has to be the case. But I'm saying there is something to the fact that that. The dynamic uh, of the relationship the regarding of, the age and everything. Of yeah. you being the validation of your that your your existence in my life validates me as a man at 55 years old. And so that abuse goes on and on and on. And it's this and this. If somebody's looking at you and telling you, I don't love you like that is worse than somebody choking you. I know when you it you, really is. It hurt really bad. And, and I'm quite sure he's done multiple things where verbally it was a way to break you down and keep you, which is what I was saying in the first place, which was yeah. this control, this constant control and this abuse that goes on. And then all of a sudden you get to the point where he, he keeps pushing the boundaries until you get choked. And then you go, okay, it's time for me to go. But the, there's four years, <laughs> <Gotta> of, go. <laughs> yeah, but, there's, but there's four years of abuse of bringing you down and lowering your self-esteem and, and not really treating you it, with the value of the person that you are, the, the kind person that's inside uh, the person that you want to be. After I left him, after I left him, I was devastated. Even though I left him, you, you, you would th think it's turning over a new leaf, right? No, I was devastated. I sold my house. I moved. I was like, just like want, wanting to run away. Right. Then I started doing drugs. And then I started that, that, that was my way of escaping. That's it. Point blank. Okay. Right. I just wanted, I did, I did, I didn't want to feel pain. I didn't, I didn't want to feel pain. Right. And I ran and, and I, you know, had, I mean, I wasn't stressed out on a mon on, I wasn't stressed out regarding by, uh, on, on a monetary or fight financial mm -hmm. but i was stressed out on an emotional and i basically would just want to numb that and so that was my whole de de deterioration and yeah. fall of who i was and then i was around the wrong crowd with the drug char charges do like around drugs and stuff and that's right. how i got in trouble See, I, I think the other thing is too that i, I think this, a lot of times we don't acknowledge also that you know the drugs and drinking and drugs and the hanging, all of that stuff becomes a, where we're trying to numb. You're trying to numb this pain. But the reality is that it's it, like on a conscious level, we know that this behavior is not productive. Right. So then the question is, why are we 
acting on behavior that is non-productive, we're doing it anyway, right? And I, I was think, on my own, and that's all I knew how to do. Right, yeah, but it's, I was just it, on my own. Yeah, I was like, it's also it's also not just self-medicating, but it's also self-abuse because at some point in time, you got to come out of this. You're right. Yeah. So the, right. The, the, the deeper you dig the hole, the, 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 the deeper you got to climb out of this hole. And so on a conscious level, even at 24 years old, you understand that this behavior is not healthy behavior. And right. so we get so accustomed to being with an abusive man who's emotionally abusive. We get to the, you get to a point where it becomes physical and then you decide to leave, but then you basically put yourself in a situation where even though he's not there to abuse you, you start abusing. I abused myself. So right, what right. I did was I sold my home. I uh, had money, uh, money in the bank. I was on in, in a penthouse in Bell, Bell, in Bell Harbor on the beach. And I was just like chilling out and I abused myself. That's right. right because right. I felt pain and that's what I knew to do in that. And that, and that was the choices that I make. And when I deal with bad breakups, I have a tendency to do that. And that's my makeup. Right, right. Mm -hmm. Now, yeah. did you did you also uh, get into other relationships, casual or not, that were abusive? I mean, did you find this that you were the trend was to you to to be around? After him, I got locked up. Okay. After him, after I, and I started doing the drugs, I was around the de 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 dealers and everybody and this and that. Then I got locked up around thirty one. Uh huh. Thirty one years old, and I did I did my Ten. eight years in one week. Yeah. Okay. So wow. my whole thirties in prison. So. I had to deal with, get over, uh, 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 um, work, work through a lot of things, <laughs> work through the relationship in the past, right, right. work through the, the, the incarceration, uh, work through the dad be, be, being away, you know, on the run. I had to work through kind of like a lot of different type of things and, and I had to work on me. So right. while I was in there, I worked on me right. big time. Yeah. Right. Harry, you wanted to say something? Well, no, uh, because before we run out of time, I wanted to get into how all this leads into the fitness world because you uh -oh. kind of, this all kind of is on a linear well, path that makes sense. Right. And then all of a sudden, this is sort of For help sharp and right fitness. turn well, in no, a good the, way. The fitness was when I was locked up. Now, I, I always knew that I wanted to be a personal trainer, right? Okay, great. So now when I was locked up, I, I decided to get my personal training cert, 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 certificates and everything. Mm -hmm. So I did that. And then While you're I locked knew, up. While I'm locked up, wow. so I'd actually be a, a who, who did you trainer. get certified through? Who asked me or uh, ISSA? ISSA. 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 Okay. And then I actually was a personal trainer for girls on the inside too, and helping them to keep their weight down because mm. uh, they all gained weight in there. Yeah, and it's the nothing but carbs. Horrible. You ain't eating nothing but carbs the and shit. Commissary yeah. and the sugar and everything. Yeah. Right, so right. I helped girls. They were happy, ecstatic, and everything. And uh, I worked out like tw 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 twice per, 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 per day. I got out. I got two little jobs and then I decided to get approval from the court. And I started my first company when I got out. Well, my first as I got out. And I actually, from that, I was able to, I did the cover of muscle and fitness hers. Nice. I just awesome. did, did, did that in May. Um, I've just been working on myself still for like the past five years. Still, cause I got out in 2000, it, it, yeah, 2015. Okay. March, yeah. Okay. All right, let's, um, Harry, you wanna, we're going to do something for the Patreon behind the scenes. Can you hang out for a little while and we do a little more and dig in, into this a little bit more? Okay, um, <laughs> what can you plug? What do you, you want to plug, your social media or anything? Uh, what, my, my, my IG? Anything, whatever, and, uh, anything and everything you want to plug, My OnlyFans, my IG? Whatever. How do you reach your OnlyFans? How do you reach your OnlyFans and what do you uh, provide my only for OnlyFans? Yeah, well, my OnlyFans, um, I provide everything. Every well, everything meaning um, I'm in the DMs. Um, I have vi videos, photos, um, custom vids. I do uh, vi 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 video chat, Skype, and everything. Uh, what else? And uh, basically, on the wall post of the OnlyFans, there's a lot of like XXX for for free, so they get a lot of free stuff if they re re renew as well. So, and do, uh, you do, do you do like uh, sex videos and stuff? Or I produce my own sex videos. No, okay. no, no, no. It's it's all adult. <laughs> okay. okay. Unless somebody specifically asks me for a workout yo yo yoga type thing. <laughs> okay. 
right. <laughs> in yoga pants. <laughs> Harry, good. Uh, you can go to my stuff at Harry Turjanian. That's where all my information is. Uh, you can find, yeah, at Harry Turjanian and just check out the Man School 202 YouTube page and check out some of my stand up comedy on YouTube. It's good stuff. Uh, and everything with me, you know, you can check me out, DanteNero.com. If you want a one on one consultation, go to DanteNero.com, click on consult, and you can talk to me directly and I'll put you straight uh also uh don't forget the patreon sign up for the patreon if you want to get this behind the scenes stuff we appreciate uh support us so we can yeah we can keep doing what we've been doing gybb uh get your balls back wwdd what would dante do the sexual revolution is being podcasted i love y'all man we are out man school 202 is created by dante nero hosted by Dante Nero with Harry Turjanian and Andre D. Thompson. Produced by Harry Turjanian. Executive producers Matt Kleinschmidt, Harry Turjanian, and Dante Nero.